Hi, this is Corey Rogers, VP of Marketing for National Equipment Dealers. Today I'm sitting in a Hyundai HL955A wheel loader. We're going to talk a little bit about Hyundai's onboard way system. Hyundai offers the onboard way system standard with all of their wheel loaders. As you look at the monitor, the way system is integrated, but you do have to turn it on. So to do that, this is a touchscreen monitor you would select in the top left hand quadrant. And this opens up a separate menu. As you do that, you can see you can select weighing system to be displayed. And you can press that to go back to the main menu. So what we're seeing today right here is this is the total amount in US tons that we have loaded today, currently showing zero since this is a brand new machine. And right above that, this indicates what's in the bucket, okay? So if we want to switch it to a per truck screen, we can quick toggle this button here with the loaded bucket, and it'll switch between truck A, truck B, truck C, or today's total. If we had a recorded value for yesterday's total, that would be indicated up top, and it would show today minus one. This is the simplest and easiest way to use the load system, and most of our customers choose to use the system this way. So basically, if you're trying to verify that what you put in the truck is what then goes over the scale at the sand pit or quarry operation or whatever it is that you're running your loaders at, this can ensure that before it goes over the scale that your load is accurate. So we recommend running this in truck A or truck B or truck C, or if you have different types of trucks that you want to keep track of, you can actually keep track of those three different totals at the same time. Um, could be three different types of material types, or it could be three different trucking companies, or three different types of trucks, however you would want to divide that up. But the most simple way is to just use truck A, and basically you will load the truck. Once you get it to your target weight, then you will press and hold a button, which is to the right of the control joystick that says ton on it, and it's a yellow button. You'll press and hold that for three seconds, that erases your total, and you're ready for the next truck. And I'll show you how that works. So right here, we have, um, this would be what is in the bucket at the time. This would be what is in truck A. The system is an auto weighing system. So as you raise the bucket and you dump the bucket, by doing that cycle and then lower the bucket back down to the ground, there are certain points within the angle of the cycle that it will determine that you have done a cycle. And you do have to dump in order for it to be added automatically to the total and you have to return it back down for it to automatically be added to the total. So as you can see, truck A is zero right now, but as we go adding, we will show the weight up here, and then it will be automatically added to the total until we get to the target weight for that truck. And then once we get to that target weight, if you look down here, we have a yellow ton button. And that yellow ton button, we will press and hold, and as we press and hold that for three seconds, if we had a total on the screen, then that total would be erased. And that's, that's the simplest form. And that's the simplest form to use the loadway system. Very simple. Now there's an advanced menu that you can go into. If you are in an operation like a scrapyard, uh, some type of recycling operation where you've got to keep track of different types of materials, or even in a sand and gravel pit where you want to keep track of different types of materials, you can go into the advanced weighing system menu and you can run it by project. And that allows you to determine or alphanumerically name the name of the project. Uh, you can add a name of an operator in there. You can add names of different material types in there. And you can track it by those specific projects so that when you were to come in in, in the beginning of your day, you could select your operator name or you could select a project that you're working on if there are multiple projects on a site. And then you could track it by that. This information is also uploaded to HiMate, which is Hyundai's proprietary telematic system. And HiMate keeps track of the daily total, and it'll keep track of the totals for truck A and truck B and truck C. So it, uh, it is a very handy feature. Uh, the other thing with the dedicated or more advanced weighing system menu that I'll show you is you have the ability to start and stop the auto weighing system via a button that's called Add. So we will show you how you do that. So to go into the advanced weighing system menu, you would press and hold the same weigh button that we pressed to toggle between truck A, B, and C. And then you would select weighing system. And as you can see, you've got an advanced menu here with some different options. This allows you to name the project. 
this will, would allow you to name a specific truck. And it does have limited characters, so you can't name it a very long name, but it allows you to name it an abbreviated name. Here you would be able to add uh, a specific operator name. And then lastly, the materials, you can add different material types and track it by different material types for your specific operation. And then if you do this, you're gonna to want to run it in project mode. And to select project from the type that we were doing, this is where you would see that selection. So if we wanted to run project, we would select type A, and we've got auto and manual weigh system mode on, so it's gonna auto calculate our weight. And then project will show up on the main screen as one of the options. But in most cases, running it by the daily total your truck A or truck B or truck C total, that's the easiest way to run it, as we've mentioned before. Error detection, if for some reason you do something, you don't fully do a dump in your cycle, then you will get a red error detection if that is enabled and on. Um, I usually turn that off just because it can be a little annoying, but uh, it does tell the operator that they didn't do a full dump, and that could be an indicator that it didn't capture that specific bucket load in the auto total. Also, you have calibration, so if something is serviced on the machine, or if a bucket is changed, or if it's just not reading accurately, you may have to do a boom pressure calibration procedure. Also, we have the weighing system compensation menu. This is that menu right here. This allows you to plus or minus a percentage, depending on if it is weighing over what it should be weighing, or under what it should be weighing. And you basically, would put in the percentage over so if it was if a hundred percent is what it should be weighing and it's weighing 10 percent over and you want to compensate for that then you would you would uh, you could reduce that and put 90 percent if it's weighing under you would need to increase that you could do 110 percent so it allows you to adjust that numerically uh, for any differences or discrepancies that might exist due to a different size bucket or something like that So as you can see, once we select which type we want to use, and in the case of just a simple loadway system, we will exit out of that and go back, and this is the type that we would use. And I usually just select truck A and go off of truck A. So basically, one more time, if you're using the simple way system that Hyundai offers, everything's been calibrated, it's accurate, and you're just loading trucks to ensure that when the trucks go over the scale at the site, they've been loaded properly, they're not overloaded or underloaded, that's when this scale comes in handy. There is no printer. Uh, you can take a snapshot if you need a record of each truck. You can take a snapshot of the screen and eat all that to the scale house if you need to. But it, this is a great system to keep your operators loading accurately and to reduce the amount of overload and underload causing the truck to have to come back and either take material out or add material back. If you have any questions about the way the waste system works, please reach out to us. Our website is www.ned.us. Thank you.